Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is about five different types of combinations you should know. All right, in today's episode, we're digging deep into combinations. And when I say combinations, a lot of people just think punches or sometimes just kicks, but these are types of combinations you should know, okay? So what do I mean by types? So a type of combination is how you perform it with the different types of strikes. Okay, might sound like a lot of words, but let's get into the first example of the type of combinations you should know because it'll explain it well. The first type is punch to kick, okay? That is the most basic type of combinations and probably the first ones you're gonna learn anywhere and it's the ones we see the most. Usually, okay, this is why I'm making this video, when I see people striking, it's either just boxing, okay, and adding a kick randomly, okay? So this is why this video is important, is merging the punches and the kicks together and then fighting and sparring that way, okay? It can happen on pads, but can you translate it into the sparring, okay? That is the key. So whether you're practicing these drills on pads, shadow boxing, okay, or you're sparring, all of them have to be performed and practiced at all different levels, okay? Pads, bag work, put it all together in practice. So punch to kick, the Dutch style combinations, okay? Putting the flow together is very important. Now, usually the combinations when you go punch to kick, alternate to get that fluidity, right? Jab, cross, hook, low kick, right? Very simple. Jab, cross, switch kick, right? Those are your basic combinations, but to take it even up a level, okay, this is where if you're intermediate to go to an advanced level, the punches can also come and the kicks can come on the same side. So my jabbing to this lead side switch kick, I can rear cross, rear kick, okay? They are still punch to kick combinations, but they're performed on the same side versus opposite sides, okay? So those are the types of combinations. The first one, punch to kick. Now number two, okay, this is personally my favorite because they don't happen a lot of times and they set up your punches really well. So the second one I like to talk about and perform is kicks to punch this time. Like I said, the first, the ones you see all the time, punches to kicks. But throwing your kick first, then following with your punches, you find a lot of success landing the punches. It's a great way to set up the punches. Just think, if I throw a big power round kick at you, you have to block your head, which at that moment, you become a shell target for me, so now I can come in and blast off punches, good level changes, so that's very important. Lead with your kicks, follow your hands, all right? Number three, okay, is more based on the lower body and that is kicks to knees, okay? Very important types of combinations because you have to think about ranges when you fight. If you're a kick dominant fighter like myself, right, I like to throw long kicks and how do you beat a long good kick fighter is pressuring. So you have to have weapons ready for that inside close range. So practicing your kick to knee combinations will really help with that, all right? If you're only throwing round kicks, a good pressure fighter can really close you down. So having those strikes up the middle waiting is gonna help you a lot. So number three, kicks to knees, very effective, all right? Now, number four, okay, which is another one that, okay, with the rules changes, it's a little bit different, but I still like even my kickboxers practicing this, and this fourth one is punches into elbows, all right? So why do I like this? Is because one, elbows really teach you how to turn your body well. If you wanna generate power with a good elbow, you have to learn to twist your body. And that learning to twist your body, I find helps you developing good power punches because you really have to rotate to hit this target, all right? So that's the same thing with your punches. So learning to do that and use your elbows really helps. So the other thing it really helps is closing of the distance and managing the range. So learning to punch from here to step in that little bit to land the elbows is very important. So, but in mixed martial arts, Muay Thai, boxing to elbows, very valuable. Now. Let's get into the fifth and final one, and that is elbows to knees, all right? Now, as you notice with all of the combinations and all the types that I talk about, they all have some form of punch to kick, long to close, close to long, right? So we're playing with ranges. So if you're in a very close range, the type of combinations, right, need to be elbows and need to be knees on the inside and develop into clinch style fighting. So learning to throw combinations with your elbows and knees flowing together. It's not just elbows and it's not just knees. It's putting the two together that's gonna make it very effective. Okay, so let's give a quick recap. Combination fighting is very important, all right? Obviously, to win a fight, just throwing a single punch isn't enough, but 
punch to kick and only throwing one type of combination isn't good enough either. If you're gonna become more advanced, wanna use trickery and become a high level fighter like the guys we see like Israel Adesanya who can do all these different types of combinations very well, you have to start practicing them from an early time, okay? Mix up the types, okay? Punch to kick, kick to punch, kick to knee, punch to elbows and elbows and knees. Put them in combinations, even your elbows. Flow them in combos. Things have to flow together. Mix your strikes, mix your ranges, mix your levels and this is how advanced fighting is developed. This is where you get the IQ that's going to take you to the higher level. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode on combination, the types of combinations you can throw, and it was brought to you by Hayabusa Fight. All linked in the description below. Check out their T3 boxing line as they're my personal favorite, as well as Perfect Sports Nutrition, code Bazooka20 to get 20% off your supplements. Also descriptive below, bazookashop.com for bazooka gear, and last but not least, bazookatraining.com, okay? So bazookatraining.com is where I give you four new workouts every week, okay? Totally different from YouTube. YouTube is basically, I teach these fancy little concepts, right, to get the attention. If you want to learn the basics, the structure, and how to do all these fancy things properly, you have to head to bazookatraining.com. Four workouts a week. If you don't have any equipment, we have home workouts. You have a bag at your gym or home, you have bag workouts for you. Sparring drills, okay, and tutorials to teach different types of concepts, all right? $9.99 US dollars per month, four videos a week. It's a basically a steal, and I'm at your house teaching you every single day. All right, we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over one year in lockdown, an empty gym, a divided community, many questions unanswered. They're doing the best they can, uh, trying to save their business. But on one man's 36th birthday, he decided this. to fight back. Subscribe now for only $9.99 USD a month. BazookaTraining.com